So you're ready to build a spray booth, but you need some inspiration on design. Well, I've looked at a bunch of videos on YouTube and gotten some great inspiration, and those are the videos we're gonna review. Some are large creators, some are DIYers. All the links to their full videos are gonna be in the description below. But at the end, you'll be able to have the opportunity to look at my video, how I created it in my garage. So let's get into the material and uh, see what works best for you. dream of a spray booth that looks so super clean, great lighting, awesome ventilation, a complete space. Well, this is a little out of budget for the most of us. Let's check out our first creator. Here we have Busted Classic Garage. Uh, this guy does a great job of describing how he has made this pulley system to raise and lower his spray booth. Pretty ingenious, but uh, we're going to go over a couple things he's used. Pulleys, ropes, lots of pulleys, more ropes. Uh, so we got going on, he's got a piece of plastic here that he has nailed and or screwed all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, he's using a really heavy duty plastic and he goes into more description of exactly what he's got going on. Um, like I said, if you are intrigued by this, I've got all their descriptions in the description below. Uh, their YouTube links so you can check out to see what they have. Uh, what I really like about his design is that when you pull all the all the strings together, the whole spray booth raises and lowers. As you can see here, it really kind of bunches it up. And he, what he's got to hold the bottom is like a PVC pipe. Um, and you can see here how all three sides go up and down. In your spray booth, you want to be conscious of how your your intake and exhaust is happening. In his garage, he has a door uh, leading to the exterior where he has his intake, and he's raised his garage up to fit uh, some fans. And the way he hooks the plastic from the ceiling to the garage door is pretty cool. He uses some PVC pipes to kind of hold it up, kind of wedge it up against the garage, and then some clamps holding another PVC pipe with a rolled plastic end to it. So it really kind of creates a nice seal. Uh, for his spring. This creator, Wabi Design on YouTube, has created a foldable spray booth. This design is really neat because for those who have limited space, who don't spray all the time, who just need something to quickly pop up, he's made this structure with ventilation that actually folds out from the wall, is assisted by some struts that are mounted to the wall with a track system, as you'll see here, uh, from Rockler, and I believe he's got all sorts of links in his video for that. And this track system is extremely versatile. You can mount it just about anywhere in your garage or shop uh, to be able to close off an area for some easy spraying. So for those who are needing the space in their garage for other projects, and you just need something to pop up, this is a great option. All right, on to our next creator, Mr. Gabriel Keyway. He's a small YouTuber who has about four videos, but one of his videos has this spray booth that rolls up and down on what looks like his actual garage track system. He uses fans underneath the garage door, and then the intake looks like it comes right from the top. Now, if you've been on YouTube for any time, you probably know Bob from I Like to Make Stuff. And he goes through a very detailed spray booth, the smaller spray booth for people who are doing smaller projects. It is a fixed spray booth made out of two by fours and you know, your common wood you can get from your local home store. But what I like about this is that it is a stationary uh, spray booth that's gonna last a long time, but it's small enough you can get those small projects done. What I like about his video is that he goes into great detail about how he constructs this whole unit. And make sure to check out his video because he goes into great detail about the material he uses to uh, build the doors, the tops, the sides, and everything. He says you can use a bunch of different materials, but this was a great option uh, for his boot. If you're looking for something that is going to be stationary in your shop, that has a dedicated ventilation system, he goes into great detail on how to make something relatively cheap. Now our second to last video here is Katz Moses Woodworking. Katz, he does a very simple under $50 
uh, spray booth that uses just a pop-up tent and some plastic. This is a great option. So if you're working on a mobile site and you just need to throw something up, get it out of the sun and have something that will encapsulate all that overspray, this is a wonderful option. The only thing I did not see in his video is how he vents this spray booth. I'm assuming that this is made for a uh, latex tile paint. Um, I probably wouldn't use any lacquers in this because without proper ventilation, it could be a little bit sketchy. But I'm sure this is just for the DIYer that needs to throw something up really quick that has some handheld sprayers or an HVLP sprayer that's going to be spraying some sort of latex. But check out his video. Uh, like I said, if you know anything about woodworking, you have come across Cat's Moses. Our last video here is by the Idaho Painter with Paint Life. This guy is amazing. He's got a half a million subscribers on YouTube and he paints for a living. He goes through all sorts of details on all sorts of different painting techniques. What I like about his spray booth is that you can bring it anywhere, assemble it anywhere, and it has ventilation built in. A fantastic option for if you're a painter by trade and you need to throw up something that is also something you can disassemble and take to the next job site. The ability to be able to take this anywhere at any job site is amazing. The fact that you can have it vented is an added bonus. All you need is some cardboard to lay down, cut to fit your size, tape it all down, and you have a secure paint booth that you can spray and feel confident spraying anywhere. This kit comes with all sorts of attachments so you can hang things uh, to spray and lay them down and set up easily on site. Make sure to look at the description underneath this video so you can watch each and every single one of these videos to get all the details and all the information that will help you build your spray booth the way you need it. Now, before you leave, make sure to watch my two videos here on how I built my spray booth in my garage. Now, if you've got any comments and advice to help the community in their spray booth builds, leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. We'll see you next time.